Here is how you use live wallpaper on iPhone. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So first of all, open settings. Then we're going to scroll all the way down and select battery. The first step is we need to turn off the low power mode. Once this is off, we're going to swipe to the very top. We are then going to search for reduce motion. We will select reduce motion and we need to turn this one off. Once those two things are done, we will head to our home screen. We now need to swipe down from the very top. We then long press on the empty space. We then tap the plus at the bottom right. Then we choose the live photo option. If you don't see this, just tap photos instead. But I'll tap live photo. It will show some live photos here, but not all of them. So if you aren't seeing the live photo you want to use, select all and then tap on the picture in question. Now see if it plays a little short video. If it does, great. If not, it may give you an error saying the live photo is not supported. So you can see here it says motion is not available for this live wallpaper. The reason this happens is because the subject of the video needs to be clearly distinct from the background. The subject here is the hand, but it's too, it blends in with the background, which is why it doesn't support it. So this live photo here does because the background is clearly blurred and the foreground is there. So once you have that done, you can remove and add these controls and then we'll tap on add. So another thing to note is the live wallpaper only shows on the lock screen. It doesn't show on the home screen. So if we set as wallpaper pair, the home screen wallpaper will just be the lock screen wallpaper, but still and blurred. You can tap customize home screen if you want a different home screen wallpaper. So we'll tap set as wallpaper pair. And now you can see the live wallpaper. And when we go home, it blurs the wallpaper. If you're trying to take the best live photo shots, make sure the live wallpaper's on. So just make sure it's live and just make sure that the foreground and background is extremely clear and then it will let you use that live photo.